Alright, um, I just wanted to throw a quick video up because I know a lot of people have been asking to see my helmet on the inside and all the little different little doodads and this, that, and the other that I have uh, in here. So I figured, what the heck, I'll go ahead and uh, do a quick video so that everybody can see, okay? I know it's not uh, Tony Stark's Iron Man helmet, but it's pretty darn close. I think probably most Iron Man costumes don't have half of what I've got stuffed into this thing. Anyway... Um, I'm just going to go and I'm going to try to keep from blocking the sunlight. Okay, let me turn my squeaky chair here. Okay, um, this is the microphone that I use. It is powered off a little tiny button cell battery. I think it's like a 1.5 volt. Anyway, uh, it makes a big difference when you've got a powered mic running into your voice amp. It makes it louder. Um, so and It also makes the chance for feedback a lot higher. So I have to dabble with the volume and all that happy stuff. But it works really well. Um, next, and, and this is all on the right side at the cheek. Next, this is my selector switch for my fans. Um, I can go, and I'll, I'll go ahead and turn it on. You may or may not be able to hear it because the air conditioner is on in the background. That's high. And there you can see the fans are spinning. And then we can go into low. And that's low. See, they're still spinning, but they're spinning a lot slower. That's probably half voltage, which would be 3 volts. These are 6 volt fans. And they run off a of 9 volt. But for those hot days, when we're outside, we need that high. And then I can also turn them off right from the front. So it's pretty neat. Um, that's all within, you know, finger range there, so I can get it with my glove now without having to take the helmet on and off. So that's what that is. Voice amp speaker. Uh, I don't know what wattage those are, but they're pretty darn loud. <laughs> Most people who've heard them can tell you that they're fairly loud. Right here, this is Bluetooth. You can see it blinking in the back. It's synced with my iPhone. Um, I will try to do some sort of recording at some point. The only Bluetooth I have on a computer is on my tablet. Um, this is the battery box for my 9 volt battery and as you can see you open up the little door here and that little magnet keeps the door shut but there's a little rayovac in there and these doors they stay nice and shut they're fairly tight and I put those in as a safety measure okay because if something were to happen and that battery were to explode in there or start to leak I don't want battery acid leaking down my face so I built these custom boxes to hold all the batteries um, as well as or hold all the major batteries as well as hold the circuitry for my um, sound pickups. This is the my ear speaker that runs off of the Bluetooth and the pickup which sits in here, the audio pickup. And let me turn that on and you guys will be able to hear that. You'll probably be able to hear it echo. These are the master switches that control the fans and the uh, right side audio pickup, okay? And I'm going to put the phone into the helmet so you guys can hear what it sounds like when the audio pickup is active. But of course, now you got to remember, it sounds a lot better when it's right there on your ear. Let me turn it on. There we go. I know that doesn't... Uh, it's hard to really tell a difference, but the big difference is when you have the helmet on, it's a huge difference, huge difference, okay? And all these are just wire trunks that run down that I had to build that uh, I basically just hot glued them to the inside of the helmet uh, for different switches, different things, okay? I'm going to turn these off. But anyway, I have master switches, and once the master switches are turned on, um, hopefully I'm not covering up the speaker here. Once the master switches are turned on, then I can turn on, use the secondary switches to um, turn everything off and on without having to take the helmet off and that kind of thing. This is just a detail plate. As you can see, there's some batteries under here. I've got some little uh, AAAs, two AAAs, because the pickup circuit, which is under here, runs off of three volts, okay? And I put those plates on not just so much for decoration as for safety, in case it leaks, it'll leak onto the plate and onto the top of the fan here. It won't leak onto my on the back of my head. Um, 
the pickup circuit is behind here this little mesh this little protective mesh this mesh serves as an, uh, has another secondary function the fans they don't blow forward they actually blow and channel through here and this mesh creates a much larger surface area of metal and what it does is it, it um, exchanges the heat from the air across this metal because this metal stays relatively cool okay um, it exchanges the heat and it causes kind of a passive air conditioning so it's really nice it makes a huge difference huge difference because when you're when your helmet is nice and cool then you feel a lot com a lot more comfortable you're not sweating nearly as bad plus this helmet I've got it crammed so full of stuff that it, it literally just about seals my whole head up when I put it on so this kind of gives me a you know a little bit of a positive pressure in here with nice cool air when they're on full blast so that helps especially for things like you know uh, being in Atlanta in the summertime or even here in North Carolina in the summertime fun alright this is the voice amp box the voice amp is inside this box um, I made this little circuit on the top here just as a little detail I mean I didn't make it I I think I pulled it out of a laptop or something it's totally a little detail It kinda looks like a little computer I've had that for I think I had that in my well no I built this when I put the circuits in here originally before C6 so and here's the other fan I'm gonna turn my squeaky chair here so bear with me another fan these are laptop fans six volt fans I can't remember what laptop I took them out of I think this actually came out of my original Alienware um, so they worked perfectly and then of course I've got another detail panel on top of batteries and on this side I've got the other second battery box with the pickup circuit in it detail plates and master switches that one runs the pickups the forward one runs the, the uh, voice amp. I really need to replace it. It's very, it likes to play, it, it's it's very touchy. <laughs> when I put the helmet on, sometimes I will accidentally cut it off. So it can be touchy. Second battery door, I'll flip this open. You can see what it looks like in the bare compartment. It's pretty good size. Um, I thought about getting the little ribbon batteries and putting in here that are rechargeable, but eh, it's all good. I'll get some 9-volt rechargeables if I want. And then right here, let me see if I can position, here we are. We have the second half of the Bluetooth, the left side, and that's basically a channel selector. You can see a key here, and there's a key right up, right here. Yeah, there we go. One's previous and one's next, in case I want to listen to music over the Bluetooth. Yes, I can do that. It's pretty awesome. And then there's the other um, speaker for the voice amp. Now, that is all of the stuff inside the helmet. On the outside of the helmet, all I have is I have these, I have some lights. I've got to work on my switch. My switch is not the greatest here. It likes to short. As you can see, it'll strobe a little bit there. And it'll decide to come on in a minute. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I think the switch is actually a little bit too big. I'm going to have to put a smaller switch in. Anyway, uh, those lights are powered by a little, by a little lithium ion, like a motherboard battery. I, I took a uh, a motherboard battery holder off of a motherboard and put it on a little breadboard that I built, and wired that into the lights. So when the lights work correctly, they're actually they're fairly bright. When they're not shorting out, they're fairly bright. They're bright enough to you know illuminate part of a you know what's in front of me uh, with the visor down though it doesn't really help all that much because the visor is double the darkness I could probably weld with this thing on anyway so uh, that's been about 10 minutes of, uh, of fun with the helmet and hopefully everybody now understands what's around my head when I've got the thing on so uh, thanks and have a good day